Zone A, you have advantage. That's why we have fire teams. Zone B lost. Three minutes remaining. Order, call the Thanatonauts, the Jinsen scribe, call everyone so they can witness you. Kind of wish everybody was there just to see me. Hope you like that clip. That was Destiny 2 a hell of a long time ago. Got the clip there. Um, <clears throat> haven't had much drive to record. Well, when I've recorded games, it hasn't been showing up. But look, I'm not showing up. I've had technical issues. Because I set the Elgato settings to default, I completely forgot the basic settings, and some of the stuff I got was just shy. There'll be gameplay videos coming along, don't worry peeps, it'll be all working out, why what's finally sussed it out. But, as the title says, I didn't get the job. Now, <clears throat> am I disappointed by it? by it? No, not really. I'm glad I went for it, but it was for, well, I don't know, how can I put it? It was for, um... Well, I don't know. You tell me, people. I'm just going to show you a quick little clip and tell me what you think. Do you really think that I could have, you could have seen the Y-Bot in a program like this? Hello! And welcome to Spawn Point, the show for gamers by gamers. I'm Raj. I'm Bajo. I'm Deuce. And I am Darren. <laughs> Today on the show, we're going to wrangle some slime, which is not an easy task. In slime... So there you go. Spawn Point. Uh, for the ABC, Badjo left. I don't know if you know Badjo, he was in Good Game and then went to Good Game Sport Point. He's finally moved on to become a professional streamer, I think, with uh, ANZ. ANZ seems to be employing these different Australian streamers, so good luck for him. He's. Disappointment in the dog. Um, look, I went for the job. Never really watched Sport Point, but after I applied for the job and I did my review, I wish I watched more Sport Point before I did my review video. As you notice, it's a few, few several videos back. I'll link it in the description there below. I was a little bit too serious in that video, but let's be honest here, man. Like, I'm in my 40s. I need somebody who's below 30 for that role. And I'm not going to lie, I think it was great that the ABC did what they did. I think it's awesome they opened up the way they did and they advertised it the way they did. And I think it's even better they got back to me very, very quickly after doing the effort and doing so. Very respectful, and I thank them in the email. That is something that's very important. I've applied for other jobs here and there, peeps, and they haven't gone back to me at all. ABC would have been swamped with heaps of people because they said, you didn't have to be a journalist. We just want to be able to know that you're in the games, you've got an open mind about gaming, and that you're good in front of a camera. With a script or without a script. Now, I was a little bit too stiff then and I should have loosened up a bit more and made it more kids things. But as you saw in that little clip I showed you, do you really think you can see why about doing this? And do you really think it's a good thing for the ABC and a kid program? You know, something like, well, well, like this. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's by that bad Joe and talking to a, an effing robot. Now, in hindsight, yes, I would have kind of liked to work there, would have blown up my YouTube channel, but they probably would have uh, looked at my YouTube channel and gone, you know what, why about. Uh, yeah, all your talking shit with the gang videos will have to be, you know, not really good for the kiddies. And that's a big part of my YouTube channel. It's probably the proudest part of my YouTube channel is the gears talking shit with the gang. So, look, am I disappointed? No. Good luck to the person going for it. I think everyone went for it. My time will come, <laughs> if at all. 365 subs, I'm very happy with that. Next video I'm going to do, peeps, without a doubt, will be Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm just going to give you a heads up. I was umming and ahhing about getting an Xbox One X. I spoke to the guys at AV and said, you're mad if you don't, purely because it loads games faster. You don't need an A-grade TV. And everything they said for 1080p, which aren't on the original Xbox One games, they're upscaling. Things load faster, connection's better, everything's good. Um, I'm going to trade in... Gears of War 4 console here, it's 2 terabytes. I get the console a hell of a lot cheaper on the, on the trading, plus all the games I've got. Rough idea, you get a friend of 200 bucks. Then you're going to say, but what about the Gears of War 4, you know, Xbox? Gears of War 4 has gone to shite. They've totally killed it. It's not fun at all. The last update, people are trading more than they ever have on Stock Exchange. You'll see it in Landon's videos, everybody's videos, in the States, out of the States. It's taking a long time to load in for the loading screen to the extent I think it's my actual internet when it's fucking not. 
Really disappointing. The Coalition, I have high hopes for Gears to come back next year, and apparently there's a lot of money to it, as you know, Rob Ferguson says, but yeah, just... So, in honour of it being such a shite game, I'm going to keep the controller, but get rid of the console to get the Xbox One X. Brings me on to Players Unknown Battleground, and the crap I'm seeing on the internet. Now, when are people going to realise that it's not a full-fledged game? It's an unusual game to come out on console, because it's not finished on PC, it's beta. And they're expecting it to be great people complaining about it on the Xbox One. And to me, as a Gears player, we should rejoice and love it because we love broken games with bad connection and just all over the place like a mad dog's breakfast. So when I watched the Razor's Edge video, which I'll link in the description, it done incredibly well because he had no bias and he showed it on the Xbox One X and then he recorded it well, 30 minutes, and he can't believe how well it's doing. And he's been very honest about it. It's had all sorts of reviews. 39 bucks, a big patch coming in for it, so I might get that. I might show you some Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'll be promising, you know, Call of Duty World War 2 videos. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm busy over the weekend, I've got to vote. But Frag and Tab, be good to those that own you. I didn't get the job. Am I disappointed? No, because I didn't really want to talk to her an effing robot. I have a hard time talking to my dog and my girlfriend and doing this. It would have been a great experience and good luck whoever gets it because they look like a cool crew of people to work with. Great for gaming and I think it's great the ABC is still doing it. And I, let's face it man, not one of them had ink on them. Not one of them. I mean, and there might have been some stuff, some stuff coming up from my past. You, you know what I mean? Not far from there man. There was a pub and I... Got kicked out because I was throwing schooners at the chicken wire at the band playing behind it. And because they're plastic schooners, they stuck in there. That wouldn't have been good for a kiddies program. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Shit. Catches.